Welcome back, everybody, to some more P5R. I'm your host, the Musical Gamer. We just finished dealing with Matarame and his palace. He's done, he's been dealt with, Yusuke should be able to move on, and all we have to do is await the change of art. And await the change of art we shall. So we're gonna get back to regular daily life, which means lots of confidanting, lots of social statting, and uh, maybe a trip to mementos, if we can if we can find a reason to go. I, I think uh, one or two people have been telling me they want to see me grind. I, I don't know about that. I, 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 this ain't it, Chief. <laughs> we'll, we'll be going to mementos probably in the very near future. Obviously, a little bit of grinding will probably happen then. Whether I show it on screen or not is kind of determined by whether or not we see something interesting. Now yeah, I don't know. Up. We'll just have to wait and see on that front, but uh, we will be getting some levels. I do have that request for Mishima. We do need to kind of sure start looking up. into. Hopefully, we can begin to get to piece that stuff together once we get back to school in the morning. Can I talk? So we're just gonna study. So apparently we're very close. Well, not very close. We're we're getting somewhat close, according to the <laughs> mystical toilet, of improving pretty much every single one of our skills except guts. Guts is the only skill that's kind of been taken a backseat compared to everything. Well then. And knowledge just requires a lot of work. Just a lot of goddamn work. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Oop, speaking of getting there, how the hell did we get here? Hello? You, you summoned the Nose. One who was stained in vanity. Oh, yes, indeed we did. You are now one step closer to your rehabilitation. It Oops. Our master is pleased. You should be honored, inmate. However, that man's remarks are concerning. It seems another has made their way into the metaverse. Ah, so what he was saying is true. Hmm, who could it be? The Black Mask, that huh? is beyond my knowledge. Oh, great. I thought you were supposed to be all-knowing, Mr. Noseman. But your rehabilitation is progressing smoothly. That is for certain. Well, at least there's that. May the devotion to your rehabilitation grow even deeper. I have high hopes for you. Thanks. Hope we can meet him. There's only one way to find out, though. But because he's, uh, trusting us just a, just a wee bit more, we hit rank All four. Right. With his confidant, do we get anything? No, no, we don't. I guess that's not till the next rank. Oh, it's a step in the right direction. And the uh, full personas we refuse will be that much more stronger. Nope. Hello, ring a ding ding. Ah, yes, Yusuke, hello. That's right, I did give you my number, didn't I? I'm calling about Matarame's state. For the time being, he hasn't suffered a mental shutdown. Well, that's good. Other than that, his demeanor seems to have softened a bit. Is that the change of heart? Well, I mean, it could be. It might be a symptom of I it. See. I was curious and looked into Kamoshida as well. It's as if he was an entirely different person. Will the same be true for Sensei? Well, I'm sorry to have taken your time. That's all I wanted to tell you. Good. Oh. I'll try asking him about the black masked intruder from the palace when the time is right. Will, will he I, actually even know? This time for sure. Hold, hold on, will, will he even have recollection of this? I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I guess it doesn't hurt to ask, but don't implicate hey. yourself, Yusuke. That, that, that would be a very bad thing to do. And we got a seat. Let's read a book. Which one should we read? Studying, proficiency, kindness. Well, I guess we'll do some, uh, some proficiency. We only really have the two to choose from. We gotta create a new book from the library. <laughs> oh, man. Is it training us to become a monk? Well, who knows? Well, we made some progress. So, I guess we have that book as an option to do some statting at night at this point. Man, I cannot wait to get that speed reading book. Holy crap, are we gonna be... Taking All advantage right, of that. Let's begin. Hello, Kawakami. First, I have an announcement about an upcoming new school event. As part of the city beautification project, the entire school will be participating in a public cleanup campaign. What? You mean to tell me you're making me do penal labor? I just did some penal labor. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, Caroline and down. Justine have nothing on this. The cleanup will take place next week on the 30th. All students are to wear their gym uniforms during the event, so don't forget to dress the part. Great. 
You guys hear about this cleanup bullshit at Inokashira Park? I guess it's the principal's idea. Damage control after Kamashita scandaled up the school's rep. Pretty sure scandal is not a verb. But I get what you mean. Even the counseling stuff seems like a desperate move. Hmm. They are scrambling. It really does seem like they're just really trying to do more PR stuff. All the girls in our class have been freaking out over this new guy, too. I've been hearing Maruki's hot, kind, sensitive. <laughs> Basically, everyone thinks he's their type. Well, I guess he's pretty popular, then. Oh, yeah, did you guys go to his counseling yet? Oh, shit, I forgot. Uh, but I don't know. I don't really feel like going. You know what I mean, right? Well, uh, I, I already went. Oh, really? Y yeah, dude, you're the one. <laughs> you're the one who's behind the uh, behind the curve here. You need to you need to get on this, dude. You should just go already. If your sketch uh, slacking draws attention to us. We're the ones who'll have to pay for it. Fine. <laughs> yeah, get Ryuji's ass in gear. Speaking of which, maybe we'll actually spend some time with the counselor. I'm I'm thinking that might be a good use of our time tonight. It's open. Ooh. Ah, we get to actually see this. Stop. Hey, Ryuji, sit down, have some candy. Hey there. Sakamoto-kun, here for a counseling session? Well, it's not like I wanted to or nothing. <laughs> Sorry, you were forced into this. But anyway, come in, come in. So, this is pretty awkward. Huh? Oh, why's that? I mean, I don't really go see teachers unless they want to chew me out for doing something wrong. Oh, I'm not a teacher here. If anything, well, I'm here to be on the student's side. <sighs> oh, yeah? So, am I supposed to tell you about Kamoshida now? Well... Oh, no, no. This isn't some kind of interrogation. You're free to just kick back and talk about whatever you want. Like... what? How about it? Hmm. How about it? Is there anyone in your class that you like? Uh... uh... That's not exactly easy to talk about either. It's not like there is anybody. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, I just meant you're in the middle of your teenage years and all... Right? High schoolers are just discovering romance and all, so... And how one for you? Well, not exactly. <laughs> but, um, that's just because I fell in love with my studies first. <laughs> Dude, dude sounds like he's had a lonely life. Oh, I feel kind of bad for him a little. I'm sorry. I'm supposed to be hearing you out, but instead I'm just bringing down the room. Oh, how about this instead? What do you do in your free time, Sakamoto-kun? On the weekend, after school. Uh... Hang out with my buds, mostly. Though I just started doing that recently. Before that, I was just pissed all the time. Even before that, it was only all about the track team. Ah, so is your leg better now? Oh, so you know about that too? Well, yeah, pretty much. So long as I don't start strain it or nothing. I see. Quite. You really do enjoy running, don't you? I guess so. I mean, after all that training I did, it makes sense. I like it. I'd be training constantly, getting sweet times and meets along with everyone else. Eventually, I was going to get my hands on some running scholarships to make it easier on my mom. But all that's in the past now. It's cool, though. I got way more important shit to do now. More important, huh? <laughs> well, no matter what path you might have to take to get there, I hope your track dreams will still do you some good in the end. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I know. And you know what they say, right? If you wish hard enough, your dreams can come true. What the hell? Oh, you trying to sell me some kind of line now? <laughs> yeah, you might have been a, uh, might have overstepped a little bit there, Maruki. But hey, I appreciate it. Oh no, this is actually a genuine phenomenon, with a lot of research going into it even now. Look at it this way, Sakamoto-kun. What do you want most out of life right now? Uh, <laughs> maybe a bowl of ramen or something. I want something to drink, I guess. Uh, oh. Uh, what? I lucked into a coupon for a free can of apple juice at the convenience store this morning. And now I'd like for you to have it. Uh, it's just sitting there on the table. Thanks? <laughs> See, your wish came true. 
Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he meant like this. That's funny, though. Uh, hey, Dr. Maru... Uh, I mean, Doc. Anyone ever tell you you're kind of not normal? You think so? Ooh, could that be a compliment coming from you? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, hey, I mean, it oh, looks yeah. like they're getting along. I, I think he's a, I think he's a good therapist. He seems very down to earth. Oh yeah, something happened to me the other Actually. day. I almost got kidnapped. What? Where? Darn! <laughs> Next time. What? That's so rude. Hey, wait. What the, what's that supposed to mean? I was in serious trouble, you know. Some girl had this crazy look in her eyes and she was chasing me around, calling me a snowball or something. I wonder if she's been going after other cats and snatching them up like she tried with me. Hey. Try checking the fan site and see if anyone's saying anything about it. What? Really? Are you kidding me right now? No. Maybe it's just not a well-known problem yet. The only victims are cats, so I suppose that could be the case. Okay. Let's go. Let's try asking around in Yongan and see if we can find the culprit. What? I, you, if cats disappeared from the city. Oh, Mona, what am I gonna do with you? I really don't even know what to do with you. Oh, hey, look, people, people be sliding into my DMs all of a sudden. Yeah, I will try to hear you out. You know what I actually want to do? I do want to hang out with the, uh, with the counselor. I do want to do that. I'm very curious about him. And it does look like we're in a good position with most everybody else. I don't think we need to rush our schoolmate confidants quite so quickly. Oh, uh, is this supposed to be the Phantom Thieves logo? It looks kind of dumb. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, kind of dwarfed. It's kind of dwarfed, but hey, hey, it's, I've seen worse, right? I've seen worse things. Uh, it is a Tuesday. What do we got? We got Ryuji here. Is the counselor not available? Yuji on the cabin. Really? Is he actually not available today? I would have, I would have assumed he would have been in the list. Huh. Well, if that's the case, who? What, what rank are we at with people? We're at rank three with pretty much everybody, and Takemi is at four. So I guess if we hang out with anybody, it should probably be. Either on a Ryuji. Well, let's let's hang up with Ryuji. What's up? I'm really not digging all this sitting around crap. Dude, I really want to talk. Or I guess more like vent. Wanna grab some ramen? Shoot at my go-to place. Alright, sure. Uh, oh wait, do we not have a chariot persona on us? Hold on. Normally it would tell us. Normally it would say, do we have a <laughs> Nope, we don't. Whoops! Okay, we're gonna need to. Uh, do something about this. So maybe instead of Ryuji, we go hang out with Han instead. <laughs> so we don't have to uh, go out of our way to go get a persona right now. Uh, not Big Bang Burger. Oh, wait, before... Oh, my God. I keep thinking of things before we, we actually get to do anything else. Before we actually go hang out with anybody, let's go to the library and borrow a new book. Um. Oh, sorry, sorry for what I said. I judged a book by its cover. I failed as a librarian assistant. There may be times when other students give you a hard time, but please don't mind them. Feel free to use the library whenever you- Oh, that's nice of her. Thanks. You can hone your knowledge here quite nicely now, but you won't be able to raise your guts anymore. Aha. So guts is only something that's available for the first portion of the game. Then like? it disappears. Okay. That's actually very interesting. Yes, Thank we're returning you. Zoro. What would you like? Let's borrow a book. We have uh, finished Zoro. Um, hmm. And we can't take the speed reader book, which is a shame. We'll take the Arsene yeah. book though. Hmm. The Great Thief Arsene. Fantastic. So we will gladly borrow this book. Uh, yeah, we won't be able to do much of anything else here. So no point in sticking around. I think that's pretty much all we have to do. While I'm thinking about it, we should actually also take a look at the library. Or not the library, the bookstore. Just to see if there's any new books that came in. I, didn't, I never checked when new books were coming. Are there Please new books? Your time. There are two new books. A fashion magazine, which I don't think is that useful. A book on the hacker group Medjed. Be knowledgeable about internet crimes. Knowledgeable sounds good to me, so we'll buy that book. 
Don't simply intellectually schedule for a June 1st released. A release. Okay. That is something we could definitely take advantage of, I think. When that comes out. Oh, hello. That one is a lottery. Oh, 528. Whoops. Hello. Schedule to give a speech here tonight. If you're interested, I'd love for you to come. Yes, we could do this. That is a great idea to do for tonight as well. Okay, I think we've got our plans. Let's go hang out with, uh, with dear old Ahn. And then let's go start that other link. We'll just have to wait for now. I think my heart is turning out to be harder than I thought. Do you think we could maybe talk about it some more? Sure. Yeah, let's hang out. That's what I'm talking about. Hey. Oh, look at those ducks over there. They must be a family. This place seriously feels amazing. It's not even that far from Shibuya, but it feels so different here. Hey. You know, Tokyo is so strange. There are tons of people and tons of stores, yet there are still duck-filled parks here too. It has everything, but it feels like I can't understand any of it. It's honestly kind of scary. Hmm, yeah, I kind of know what you mean. Alright, you only just moved here. Hey. When I first got here, I had a super tough time adjusting. It's so crowded, and everyone walks really fast. Almost like they're angry or something. Even at school, I was only ever the foreigner. Nobody really knew me, they just spread rumors. I thought maybe my looks were the problem. I even considered dyeing my hair black to match everyone else. But that was when Shiho talked to me. The first thing she said was, Takamaki-san, your paintings suck. <laughs> that, that is hilarious. That first interaction. I thought she was just making fun of me like everyone else, but that wasn't her intention. According to her, they were so bad that she just had to tell me. Pretty mean, huh? Still, that was the first time someone here talked to me without mentioning my looks. <laughs> We sort of just grew closer after that, and she has been my best friend ever since. That's not why we're here, though. There's something else I need to talk to you about. Oh? Hey. Do you remember what I told you the last time we came here? About the female thief in the anime I used to watch? Well, I thought of something. Oh, God. Oh, I'm afraid to know. What? <laughs> Make fun of it now while you still can. Um. You know how the villains in those shows are always going on about world domination? Well, even though they get beaten by the heroes every time, they never give up. That means they must really have solid hearts. And that's why I'm going to try and learn from them. Uh, how? About that. Yes. I'm gonna star in action move. What? Ye Good luck with that. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think that's gonna work. What? But they might cast me as a villain. Ugh. All right, I'm making this my ultimate goal for the future. You know, I never really thought about much about what I wanted to do in life, but now I have an objective. Thanks. And that only happened because of talking to you. Thanks. Oh God. What? I feel. I feel like we're leading her down the, uh, a wrong path now. Not a dark path, but a wrong path. Hey, the sexy technique. Chance to grab the enemy's attention and cancel their action. All right. Interesting. When does that activate? Just randomly? Mm. I need to work on my actions. I wonder how many sit-ups I'll have to do. Wait, Ryuji said he knows a good gym. I should ask him for advice. Oh, yeah. Oh, I need to tell Shiho that I have a new goal. She'll definitely be happy to hear that. Oh, I guess so. Come on, let's head home. Good, good luck with that, on. <laughs> Christ. Oh, ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Hello. Hi, it's me. You good to talk right now? So I like to think I'm pretty athletic. Like, I don't hate exercise or anything. But I'm exhausted just from running to the station earlier. Maybe I've got to train my body along with my heart. Do you do anything to train your body? Who, me? I, I carry Morgana in my bag. <laughs> oh, the poor cat. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> I have to say it. That's part of your training, <laughs> but I guess that's kind of amazing. I mean, you never seem to struggle with it. I wonder how much Mona weighs. Maybe I'll try carrying him in my bag next time. <laughs> oh god, for now I'll just do some curls with the water bottle. I already drank it halfway, but better than- What? What What do you think that's going to do? 
curling water. Look, I can do that right now. I got my water. You hear my water? You hear my water splashing around? Uh, Look how bad. fucking fast I can curl my water bottle. Gee, on. I swear to God. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, the guy who approached you in the beef bowl. Yes, the politician. Yes, it looks like he gives speeches. <laughs> yes, we should go see. Oh, these these kids. These kids are going to be the death of me. They're going to be the absolute death of me. I wouldn't have it any other way, but Christ, man. Ah, yes. Okay. We are good to go. Let's go start this one. Probably better to start this now while we have the chance. Hey there, dude. I've been involved in too many incidents recently to ignore. Can anyone deny this? Runaway train incident, mysterious psychotic breakdowns, a school with a corrupt teacher. We've yet to discover the truth of it all. The apathy that permeates society is a direct result of negligence by our government and the media. You. Uh, yes, yeah, sure. I don't like to interest someone in your age. Hmm? Have I seen you somewhere before? Oh, you were working at the beef bowl shop before. You have a lot of perseverance for a young person. If you'd like. Well, if you're interested, I could use your help. I want to change the state of this country. And to do so, I need the power of the youth. However, due to a certain regulations, I can't offer a job to a student. I was thinking you could learn some things if you chose to attend a few of my speeches, though. Yeah, sure, I'll do it. Well then, would you mind telling me your name and contact information? Sure. I'm Toronosuke Yoshida. <sighs> I used to be a member of the Diet, but no longer. In the past 20 years, I've lost seven straight elections. This isn't good. I'm dwelling on the negative, right before my speech. Very well. Very well. I hope I can count on your help immediately. Uh, sure? Everyone. The lines of what is considered right and wrong in society today have been blurred. With common sense no longer our guide, we make decisions based on our selfish wants and desires. This has resulted in a deluge of self-centered people who delight in taking advantage of the weak. However, even in this modern day and age, it is imperative that we act in the best interests of all. A world where it is acceptable to trample on the rights of others for your own benefit a world where the young exist only to be exploited is a world that must be changed. Uh-oh. Easy for him to say. Old-timers like me have our hands full taking care of the... I mean, I can... I can appreciate the message he's trying to... He's trying to get across here? What's his wannabe politician blathering about now? He isn't even affiliated with a party. How about you just leave matters of the state in the capable hands of the liberal Corp prosperity party? Some base your decision on whom to support merely according to the party they belong to. Ah, just shut up already. You're just a washed up politician. <clears throat> if I am chosen to represent the will of the people, then I am fully prepared to. In the best interests of all. Ha! Save the blathering for when you get elected. If you get elected. Thank you. That is all for today. Well, what did you think of my speech? Hmm. Well, the heckling here. Yeah. The best interests of all, so what do you mean by this? I'm glad. Indeed. Do you feel the same? Such as I am, I'd like to believe that I'm capable of giving a moving speech. However, there are times, like today, when the audience has a difference of opinion on a topic. Some feel I should concentrate on getting elected before I worry about others. Do you agree? Uh, yeah, no. I... No, I, I, I don't particularly agree with that. I don't think a politician's first... <laughs> first thing to do is to worry about their elections, uh, even though that is basically what politicians do. Oh, politics. That is... That is that is Thank one you. one can of worms I don't like opening. It's going to know that my message has won you over. Besides, I have grown quite accustomed to those types of reactions. No. Although I don't know if that is necessarily a good thing. Regardless, no matter what they say, I must continue on. All right, sure. We well, could probably learn quite a bit. See you again soon. Seems fair. Notice how we got a uh, nothing, nothing for our trouble that night. We meet again. Oh God, hello. It appears you're lying low lately. What's with the change? What do you mean? I'm I'm acting the same as usual. Really. Is it just my imagination, then? Yeah, probably. Anyhow, 
I wish the culprit would come forward soon. It's absurd to pretend I can do the police's job. I wish he considered my feelings before asking me this. Then, you know, you could always not do it, you know? J j just, just the thought, maybe? Hey, there you are. Uh, what? What? What's up? I need your help with something. Huh? The hell do you want, man? I uh, found this flyer stuffed in my mailbox. You found a fly? Oh no. Wait. Is it. Is it time? It's time! Keeping service? Yes! It says that a cute maid will do anything for you. Cute maid! Sign me up! A maid, dude. A maid! Who'll do anything for us? Right? 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 <laughs> what do you want me to do? You're a guy, right? You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> Jesus Luckily, Christ. Some guy on my floor just moved out, so there's a vacant apartment in my complex. The key is behind the mailbox, so we can get in any time. The landlord seriously doesn't care. Oh, really? The place is all set, so... Hey, I heard that. Uh oh. What the hell? <laughs> hey, Mishima. Um, can I uh get in on this? Oh, you mean you're into this kind of stuff? Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm not into it. It's just for research. Right, research. Gotcha. Well, I'm gonna let you do all the what research you, you want, man. Do anything. And do the maids look exactly as they're advertised? We need to determine whether or not this company just pretends to offer housekeeping services. I... This is... This is such a bad front. <laughs> That's a bit much. Just tell the truth, man. I... Just want to punish the bad guys. And in order to do that, I have to see it with my own eyes. Yeah, he, he just doesn't know how to be honest, huh? Yeah, we, we gotta see it with our own eyes. Every little detail. We'll have to do this at night, so let us know when you're ready. Wh why? So what's the code name for this operation? Wh why is this on me? You brought this to my attention. You set this up. I'm in, but just, just do it for me. Hmm. Uh, since we'll be watching them, it should be something like... Operation Maid Watch. Operation Maid Watch. Yeah, perfect. That that that's that's genius. Nice. I like that. I was being sarcastic. Great. Well, looks like we got a uh, we've got some interesting activities we're going to be getting up to soon, <laughs> but more on that later. Ah, uh, that flyer. We're doing it now, right? I'm usually in Chibi in those hours. Let me know when you're going to it. Better not leave me behind. Yeah, I, I know. I'll contact you again later tonight. Wait, are we doing this tonight? Hold, hold on. Is is this happening tonight? I feel like this is earlier than than before than normal. Is that just me? Maybe it's just me. Ryuji is yet again available. Where the hell is the? Where the hell is the counselor? Odds not available. Ryuji and Takemi are. But apart from them, not so much uh, anything else. Hold on, I want to go check to make sure we're not doing something stupid. The The nurse's office is in the... What is it? In the, the practice building, I think? Is what they said? Let's go take a quick look. Hello, you. Boss Hero Kamashita is fallen. Boss Hero? What? Where? I... You... Oh, you're pretending to be a fan of theme. Of course you are, because why? Why wouldn't you? Uh, don't they? Don't they have any respect anymore? Any respect for us at all? God damn it! You can't just pretend to be the fan of theme. Okay, there's the nurse's office, but we can't really uh, do anything. Where the hell? Where the hell is the guy? He's not around. Hmm. Well, what we could do is we could actually go do one of those other confidants. We could actually do some stat building. Stat building doesn't actually sound like a bad idea as well. Maybe we actually go do that. Hold on. The... Who is he, Watson? 
is open, right? The the diner? It looks like the diner's open. Oh. Studying will cause time to pass, but if you will improve your knowledge, in addition, if you eat, you will be able to improve your guts as well. Times will be added to the menu depending on the season. Bad weather, you'll be able to boost your knowledge more than usual. Uh, we will be coming back here to partake in this establishment's hey, <laughs> uh, services when the weather is more appropriate. But for now, let's actually go pick up a chariot persona and do some confidanting with Ryuji. Alright, we're ready to hang out with Ryuji. We have Shiki Oji now. I've actually did a little bit of fusing while I was at the Velvet Room. I'll show off my new personas in just a minute, but first, going? let's go hang out with uh, with the Ryuji-ster. In Ogikubo, apparently. Lip smack and good ramen. The flavor of old style soy broth is worth the long wait in line, All right. apparently. <laughs> One of these days, I really do want to go try some real, truly authentic Japanese ramen. <laughs> Ah, I love the feeling of noodles sliding down my throat. Sweat dripping all over my face. This shit's the best, man. Ramen is life. Light soup like this really gets your body going again after a good run, you know? We used to come all the way out here after practice and, uh... Hmm. I guess that's all in the past. <sighs> now, by the way, I've seen Nakaoka around a few times. But for some reason, it doesn't look like he's getting along with the others. Hmm. Are you worried about him? I'm assuming you're talking about the big guy. Oh well, yeah, kinda. Uh, I've been thinking about what he said. How the whole track team was putting up with Kamashita's shit. And how I effed it all up for him. I think he was right. They don't even got a club room anymore, so they've been storing all their stuff behind the gym. They can't use any school gear either. So they just run laps around the block for practice. There ain't really a place for outcasts like that. I should know better that than that. I should know that better than anyone. I should know English better than anyone, but of course I don't. It's good they're keeping their heads low now, though. I don't want them ending up like me. Hmm. I know how you feel, man. I do. Oh, yeah. We're both outcasts here, huh? It's probably tough just walking around school with you for all, for you with all them rumors and shit. <laughs> we really don't belong anywhere. But you know, maybe that ain't so bad after all. I guess now that I'm thinking about it, trying to fit in is a real pain in the ass. <laughs> I mean, I never met you guys if I was in an outcast, right? So, uh, it's all good. <laughs> For real, though, it's been a shit ton of fun. Hanging out with you guys is so freaking cool. Uh, sure. Thanks, dude. <laughs> At least someone likes hanging out with me. <laughs> Right. Oh god, we got the stealth dash. Makes you less likely to be found in the metaverse while dashing. That's actually going to be very helpful to me because I am uh, hmm. prone to getting myself caught because I like dashing around. I just hope there's something I can do to help those guys, those track guys. Though it would uh, probably mess them up if I try to butt in. Oh yeah, we still gotta find a new spot for our training. Hmm, I'll think about it. No slacking off till then, okay? There. Right. See ya. Sounds good to me. Speaking of, uh, training, we doing what I think we're doing tonight. Ah, uh, you're back. Nope. Hello. Hey, so are we boned if this legal action goes through? Matarame is a well-known individual. The police will surely move fast on his request. We'll be arrested and, worst comes to worst, sent to some sort of juvenile hall. But I thought you said it didn't seem like he'd actually go through with it. That is true. He's been bedridden since we went through with it, after all. Honestly, though, it's difficult to even tell if he's actually undergone a change of heart. I guess I'll just have to wait until he recovers. I don't feel good about that. I will contact you all at once if something happens. That work for you. Yeah, sure. Are you going to be okay, though? There have been no issues so far, so I expect the same is true of the future. Don't worry about me. Well, then see you. Nope. You didn't forget, did you? You know about that flyer! We were looking at the truth! We're over to Central Street right now, so come talk to me if you're interested. God like damn it! Is waiting for us in Shibuya. Do you think we should go see him? <sighs> Hang on. Before we even do that, okay, there's no, uh... There's no crossword. 
There's nothing stopping us from doing this. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's go do it. Why the hell not? <laughs> Mishima's waiting for us after all. I guess this is the earliest we can do it. So let's go ahead and uh, mm -hmm. give this maid service a call. <laughs> yeah, we're executing Operation Maid Watch tonight for sure, right? <laughs> let's talk about requests. Um, oh, hold on. Yeah, wait, give me, give me a second here. Oh, that's it. Hmm? All right, I guess we'll have to go back in our conversation with them. All right. Sweet, I've been waiting for this. Wait, you already changed out of uniform? Uh, I guess that's a pretty good idea. We're meeting over at Sakamoto's place, right? Let's stop by mine beforehand so I can change too. Yeah, that's uh, probably a good idea, man. So we're really gonna do this, huh? You think it'll be okay? <laughs> sure, man! What could possibly go wrong? Operation Maid Watch, bro! <laughs> yeah, Operation Maid Watch! Well, if it turns out to be sketchy, we can just bail. The apartment's vacant, so it's not like we'll be messing with anyone's home. <laughs> You're a genius, Ryuji! Yeah, yeah, I know. To think Sakamoto has a brain. But if that's the case, then... Then... Yep. What? What? Yeah. Okay, give him a call. What, me? Yeah, go ahead, Mishima. You do it. Oh, I guess he could do it, too. Okay, go for it, Mishima. Huh? Me? I'm not good with that kind of stuff. <laughs> Please, gamer. Oh, God, fine. Of course it's gonna be me. Thank you for calling. This is Victoria's housekeeping. I answered. Well, duh. Hey. It's a business. I take it you're interested in our services, then. Services? Is there anyone in particular you'd like to request? Huh? Anyone we want to request? What do you think we should do? Uh, no preference. Very well. Let's see here. We have a maid available in 20 minutes. May I ask for your address? <laughs> oh god, what could oh. possibly go wrong? Shit, this is really happening. A maid services. Hey, what should we have her do? I was thinking we'd start with some cooking. Of course, I wouldn't mind some of the other services either. Should we hold a strategy meeting to discuss? They said 20 minutes, right? Ugh, gotta use the bathroom. Oh, it's almost time. You were in there for a while. Are you okay? Hey, did you watch your hands? Huh? What? Who? Me? You're really nervous. <laughs> uh, are high school students even allowed to use this type of service? Huh? What? What do you mean, huh? You should have researched it. What if they find out who we are? Wait. How should I know? Why would Why would how old you are matter when it comes to housekeeping? We would have been screwed if your number had shown up on the caller ID. Uh oh. Good evening. I'm from the housekeeping service. Oh, it's here. Huh? What? Already? She's five minutes early. What do we do? I'm not mentally prepared. Oh, the door's unlocked. Um, may I come in? I can't do this. My stomach's acting up. My hands are all sweaty. Oh, my bad, okay, man. Okay, you handle the rest. And don't let her find out you're a high school student. I've got your back just from way back. Like, from the balcony. Wh what? I can't do this either. Why is this up to me? You motherfuckers. God damn it. Excuse me. Oh, there you are. Welcome home, Master. Yes, hi. I'm going to fill your tired heart full of lovely energy. Meow. <laughs> I'm Becky, and I have the pleasure of serving you today. <laughs> nice to meow to you, Becky. We're going to get along so well. <laughs> oh my, how thoughtless of me. I should explain our services to you, Master. What would you like me to do today? The basics include cooking, cleaning, laundry. But there are other services we provide if you desire. Hmm, you look young, Master. Are you perhaps in high school? Uh, I'm a dad! Christ! Your skin's so healthy! 
You're not lying to me, are you? I'll wait to provide these other services until you matured a bit. Yeah, okay. So I'll be going now. Huh? What? No! Quiet. Is someone there? Oh no! Shit, run, Mishima! Mishima? Sakamoto-kun? On you? Uh oh! Hmm. Did you request me specifically? <laughs> Wait a minute! You look familiar! Oh no, it's alright. How would you know me? This is our first meeting. Yes, the first time ever, Master. Ugh, this is unbelievable. <laughs> yes, it's me, your homeroom teacher. I'm so done. I can't believe I got caught by some of my own students. I should have taken a job outside of the city. But I needed it to be close to school so I could go there after I finished work. Hey. Who did you hear about this from? Oh, it was Miss Chona, wasn't it? That harpy. Uh, no, this is a coincidence, I'm afraid. She's been snooping on all the teachers ever since that incident with Mr. Kamoshida. Are you going to tell Miss Chono about this? Uh, that's up to you. Uh-oh. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. If you're going to side with the teacher, side with me. I'm in charge of your class, after all. And if you promise not to tell Miss Chono about this, I'll do anything for you. <laughs> you be careful with your wording. Hey. Hey, it won't be any better for you if people find out that you called a maid service. This isn't even your home address to begin with, is it? I guess you at least thought about that. Well, I'll promise to keep this a secret too. So why don't we both forget this ever happened? I'll treat this as if you'd canceled, so you won't have to pay anything, okay? On that note, I'll be leaving. Don't say anything about this at school, okay? Just ask, act as if nothing ever happened. Got it? Okay, bye. <laughs> God damn it. I suddenly feel exhausted. I wonder why. I want to go home. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. One of the true glorious scenes of this game. Yeah. So some famous Chibi yesterday. That par uh, parliamentary and oh, the the the, the Yoshida-san. Yes. No good Torah. Exit the train stations, giving speeches these days. No one pays any any a mind. It used to be a rising star in politics, but wound up involved in scandal after scandal. In line for food. It was weird seeing a politician eating at the same place as we do. In the end. Oh, not that kind of food. I thought you mean like a like a bread line or something. Like what the hell? It's probably his new gimmick, right? Pandering to middle class people. That's kind of rude. But I get the general distrust of politicians. Jeez. Sometimes I see people writing exactly the same thing on their as Gee, Becky! Look at you teaching a class! I don't think you can get away with copying stuff from some website. I'll know. Got it? Stealing someone's ideas is plagiarism. It's as much of a crime as stealing anything else. It's so annoying dealing with copyright crap these days. Oh yeah, did you know this? You know the Arsene Lupin series by Maurice Leblanc? Leblanc once had a famous detective character from another series appear in one of the Lupin stories. Now then, gamer Oh, uh, you're picking on me specifically, ain't you? Which Arthur? Was it Arthur Conan Doyle? I think it was. Yeah. Sherlock Holmes. This is it. Well done. Oh, do you like mystery novels? Yes, the answer is the author of Sherlock Holmes, Arthur Conan Doyle. It was the ultimate showdown between the definitive gentleman thief and the famous detective. Apparently, LeBlanc changed the name of his version of Sherlock Holmes when Doyle complained. He changed it to Herlock Sholmes. He just moved the S to the start of his last name. Oh man, that is the laziest shit I've ever heard. But you know what? If it works, it works. Copyright laws be damned. Both Lupin and Holmes would go on to appear in a number of other works. But those were homages, not plagiarism. Now our son Lupin is synonymous with the idea of a phantom thief. He's recognized all over the world. Yep. Yeah, some of the fa some phantom thieves never go out of style. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> oh man. Maybe you want to watch those uh, Loop in the Third movies. Well, then. Ah, yes. Bad yeah. pollen allergies. Ah, uh, there was something going on with Kabakami, wasn't there? Something involving Chono? 
Not sure what's going on, but maybe you should ask her about it. She's probably still at school, right? Let's go look for her. Yeah, let's go look for her. Next time on Let's Play Some P5R. Thanks all for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to let me know down below. We'll go uh, continue Operation Maidwatch in the next one. Also, be sure to check out my Patreon. A dollar a month goes to uh, keeping this channel up and running and actually helps me afford Becky each week for my cleaning services. If you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Catch you guys then.